Equipment setup is very natural in the schematic design wizard since the appropriate screens are displayed automatically and the process is very linear. In the design development wizard, it's very similar, but the process is not quite linear. As previously discussed, to activate the appropriate plant buttons, the corresponding system type must first be selected under the first system listed. We're going to cover a number of possibilities. Before we get started, we need to differentiate the difference between systems and plants in eQuest. Simply put, systems define air side components and plants define refrigerant side components. In eQuest, when modeling packaged air-cooled equipment, the system and the plant are synonymous, as in our upper office system. The default system in eQuest is a packaged DX unit. As a result, no plant buttons are enabled by default in the Project Navigator. We will start by modifying the default scenario. To modify a system plant combination or packaged equipment, we continue as before and select the appropriate system. We want to give it a name as we have already done and we want to continue and enter the standard parameters. With packaged equipment, all the compressor components are defined under efficiency here. As a result, there is no need for an additional plant button. However, if we make a different system type, such as a chiller, we no longer enter the EER on screen 3. In fact, screen 3 is no longer applicable as it is replaced by the chilled water plant equipment button because for chillers or other plant types, there are many other variables. So, while we 